This episode of the Fab Forums is brought to you by Metal Supermarkets, the convenience store for metal. Find a store near you by clicking the link in the description. What up? So today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Listen, I want nothing more than to make like all my videos, Bibster videos, but man, if you guys want me to bring you content, I just can't do that all the time. I got so much other shit that I gotta do in this shop, and so I'm kinda torn about whether I should include the stuff that I'm doing in the shop, or if I should just leave it out, do shop work, and then only make Bibster videos. So as you can see, I still got crap everywhere in this place. But one of the things that really bothers me is that when I come in the shop, so all of these center lights I have on a breaker, um, except for the ones on that side and on this side. Those are activated by this, these switches right here. And so what happens is when I first come in the shop and I flip these on, it's lit, but it's not like ultra lit. The main reason why is because I don't have anything right through here. And part of that reason is because I want to create something that's a little bit different than just some LED lights. I want it to have some character in this space. As I've talked about before, I'm going to close this in and that's actually going to start pretty soon. I've already got the dually full of some lumber, I actually gotta pick up some more, but I'm gonna start actually framing this in soon so you'll kinda see what I'm after. But in the meanwhile, I wanna create a light. It's gonna go right here. I think that I can make something pretty cool, but I don't really know yet because I haven't finished it. All right, so here's the deal on this thing. I wanna make a light, and you've probably seen them somewhere before. Well, you've probably seen the thumbnail because if this thing turns out, then I'm gonna use it as a thumbnail. But I want it to look like an old, you almost want it to look like a solid piece of wood. That'd be the, that'd be the, really the ultimate goal, but you know, a solid, like a railroad tire or something would be too heavy to kind of hang from the ceiling. I mean, I guess you can do that, but I'm not necessarily down for that. So anyway, I've already jumped ahead. I've already got the box kind of made. And all I've done is just took some cedar fence post so these cedar posts are just kind of dog eared on the top you can get these pretty reasonable they're rough cut i think you can get them for a little over two bucks a slat and i think you can actually get pine ones cheaper so if you want to go pine versus cedar you can go that route i just took four of them kind of put them together and then just cap the ends with a piece And then what I've done is I've bought this rope light combo. So this particular one has four different light bulb sockets in it. And they're all different lengths and they're rope. And so the idea is that this thing's gonna look like an old tie with a piece, maybe some metal straps that come around it somewhere in here. Some chains that kind of hang it from the ceiling and then I'll take these kind of wrap it around them and let them hang off this in precarious spots. And then I've got some like LED Edison style bulbs we're gonna hang from the bottom. And I think it's gonna give me enough light and it's gonna kind of achieve the look that I want over there. Now I've also thought about doing something like this right here. I'll probably do something different. Thought about more of like a pool table light or something. I don't know, I'll figure that out later. This whole building a shop with an old feel to it is just gonna add that much more time and work into this. But I think in the end, I'm really gonna be happy with it. So, I'll give you a close up of this box real quick. I actually found some really old, rusty, painted, just some nasty sheetrock screws that I'd found, that I'd saved, I took out of like an old project. And so I put those in there to kind of match. And depending on how this turns out, I may actually stain this wood too. I've got some uh, weather wash type of stain that I could put on there. The only thing I'm worried about is it looks like it might turn it real gray. And because I'm gonna use so much, so much of this stuff in other places, I don't want it to be gray. So as you can see, it's not perfect. I mean, it's got 
this piece is all curved and the only thing I made sure of was the bottom was flat and I tried to actually use the roughest piece that I had on the or a rough piece on the bottom because I really want that kind of old weathered kind of look to it same thing with the sides you can kind of see they're just not perfect the only thing I don't like is I don't really care for this being a lighter color and that's where the stain would come in but you can even see with the screw heads they're just old rusty screw heads I got an extra hole doesn't even matter at this point and then the tops kind of inset just a little bit mainly because these things were so curved that it was just going to make it easier to kind of inset it just a little bit there's the rope lights just got these on amazon i think they're like 30 bucks if you're wanting to do something like this i'll uh be sure to drop you a couple links in the description so now what i want to do is i want to take a, i got some sheet metal here i want to make some kind of straps some wide straps to go on here one on either end that's how we're going to kind of hang this thing from the ceiling I'm just gonna make out some sheet metal and I may actually roll the edges to kind of give it a uh, different look. It may even like rust it just a little bit. So right, start working on that. So I think what I want to do is to give it a little bit more texture, I think I'm going to break these uh, edges like one inch and fold them all the way over. So I think the center total is like four inches wide. That'll be the total size of the strap, but it'll kind of have these like folded over edges that, I don't know, maybe I can put some nails in or something. I feel like that might, might just give it a little bit more character, kind of just set it off just a little bit easy enough to so After this kind of textured hammered look, we're just going to beat these down by hand. I'm talking about take a little aggression not that I have aggression but see then the little marks themselves actually add to the character in my opinion so now what we want to do I like that I actually like the strips so what we want to do is want to kind of fold this up around this bad boy so I'll take a couple measurements try to get those brakes pretty close and then I'll unfold it put it on there Fold it back up.
All right, so I think it's done. Got just the cables kind of tacked on here. I wish there was more of them, but this particular kit that I got only had four. Most of them actually only had three. I couldn't find any more than that. But if I want more, I'll just get another one of those kits. And hang some more off there. So I got multiple plugs up there, so I should be good. Um, been like rubbing my sweat all over this steel. So hopefully it'll kind of naturally rust once it kind of gets to where I want it. I'll seal it up with some shark hide or something. And the other thing is too, is I was kind of beating the heck out of it with uh, the ball peeing hammer. Just to kind of roughen it up, make it kind of not so perfect, not so nice. It's crazy, it's like the only thing I've ever wanted to rust that I've kind of been working on. So anyway, now it's just time to put it up there, kind of see if I hit the mark, see if it works, if it fits, if it looks the way I want to. One of the other things I did as well, I don't know what I did with it. So I tested some of that weather, weather wash. So this stuff's just like a weathered wood accelerator. Um, this particular one's supposed to kind of give it a gray look. So yeah, I don't know. I think the best bet for me is just kind of hang it See if I like it, see what I want to do before I really commit to kind of weather washing the whole thing. So let's hang this thing. Not too bad. It's kind of what I was after. It actually definitely lights the space. It doesn't really fit right now just because I don't have all the walls and all that stuff done, but if I can kind of carry that theme throughout this space, I think I'll do pretty good. What I may do is the actual wire that this stuff's made of, it's like a rope wire. I may buy some extras of that and just kind of wrap it around just to make it look like these are all wrapped around. If you know what that wire is called, the wire that kind of looks like rope, let me know, drop in the comments. Let's buy a bunch of that, wrap it around, kind of tie it up top and I think that'll finish off the look. All right guys, that's all I got for you. This your video's coming soon. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. Go do work, son.